some reason, I just keep getting fired. I've got to go out and get a job. So why should I work when I can live here for free? She's got to get a job, otherwise, it's goodbye. You either love me or hate me, and she hated me. You need to think about this, Emily, seriously. Yeah. I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. These families are at breaking points. She's not going to make me feel like this anymore. Now these unemployable offspring are going to get the chance to have the job of their dreams. Can they prove their parents wrong and impress the boss? We've got one shot at this and one shot only. <laughs> People try and belittle me, I'm going to give as good as I get. Or will they let their family down yet again? Oh, I don't like it, take it off, sorry, take it off. I've got loads of people that want to work here, and it's like, step it up. I don't think you know what you're doing. What they don't know is... Oh. Mum and Dad will be watching their every move. Well, whatever. <gasps> what are you playing at? How will they react when they see what's really been going on? I didn't realise, actually, how childish she was. Oh, show her. They think they're meeting the boss... Oh, God. But these layabouts are about to get the shock of their lives. I'm trying my best. Drop the attitude. Yeah, no. I am not messing around here, love. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, sir. With one last shot at this dream job... I've kind of, like, left the keys inside the house. Blood everywhere! Are you actually kidding me? Will they change their ways? I've just got to make sure I get this job now. ..and be hired by the boss... This is just going to be such a shambles. I'm, I'm really... I'm not sure. ..or fired by Mum and Dad. Say goodbye to your car. We've packed a bag for you. Go. I've never not wanted to see my mum and sister so much. Meet 19-year-old serial job quitter Molly. Well, why should I do a job that I don't enjoy for the rest of my life? She has spent her life taking and then leaving job. I worked in a florist. After job. It's all been instructor slash receptionist. After job. I then worked in Sainsbury's on the meat and fish counter, which obviously was not great for me because I was a vegetarian. Molly's inability to hold down paid work is driving her hard-working mum and sister to distraction. Molly needs to understand, to get anywhere, you've got to start at the bottom. If I don't get a good vibe with a boss automatically, I'm not just going to bow down to them. They do have to kind of earn their respect. She just has to realise that I can't support her forever. She's got to go out there and, and do it for herself. Instead of working, Molly spends her days playing the amateur fashionista. Oh, she's got a Marlboro bag. Oh, girl! I run my blog with my friends. We'd go out into the city, find people that we liked, and take photos of them, put them up on the blog. That's not an outfit that you go out in public in. Can I get one mojito, a pina colada, three peroni? But last year, Molly finally came good, landing a place at university to her family's colossal relief. I just thought, fantastic, we now know what she wants to do. It was just not what I was expecting. We had this two-hour seminar on setting up an email account. Are they joking? Am I paying for that? No, I'm not. I was there for six months when I just couldn't take it no more. I got out before I could do the exams. For Molly to succeed in her job, she needs to grow up a little bit. Oh, that looks cute. For everyone's sanity, Molly must stop playing fashion with her friends. Thank you, you're a supermodel. And go land herself a real paying job to help with the bills. Council tax that to water at seven pounds. Water's free. It's not, not free, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Are you tripping? <laughs> I thought that the whole reason <laughs> we lived in this country was because like, you get free water. Like, uh, never mind. Anyway, you know, so that adds up to about six fifty a month. Six hundred fifty just for me. That's the reason why you've got to go out and get a job. And if she doesn't, her mum and sister are going to sell off everything Molly holds dear to pay her share of the bills. She really needs now to think about what she wants to do for a career and go out and see if she can find something. And to make sure that even she can't mess up. We're sending Molly for a tryout in her dream industry, fashion. It's a foot in the door and her last chance to prove to her family that she can pay her own way. If I've got thousands of people who want to work here. Why should I give her the job over them? Body London is one of the UK's premier boutique modelling agencies, providing catwalk stars to fashion clients across the globe. We could be gigantic. Boss Gemma's hand-picked model booking team are some of the best in the business. We scout for the freshest faces, the best talent that we can find. Whatever the client wants, we get it. Now they're looking for one more booker, 
and they're looking at Molly. If she comes in here and she works her butt off, there is a job for her, but she needs to prove herself to me. Today is day one of Molly's opportunity to change her life. I'm feeling excited. I don't really know what to expect right now. She has two days to prove that she can hold down this glamorous job and contribute to the family finances. Quitting this time must simply not be an option. Well, I'm all right with bosses. They're all right for me. But I mean, as soon as they're getting aggy towards me, then I don't know, hell might break loose. <laughs> I don't want to be talked down to. Is that Molly? Oh, it's Molly, yeah. Uh, can you come up, please? I'm getting worried about where she's going now because she will give as good as she gets. She won't take any rubbish. Molly needs to watch her step. Hell might break loose. <laughs> because what she doesn't know is that in two days' time, <gasps> her family are going to be secretly watching. That's going to go down well, isn't it? And if they don't like what they see, she can wave goodbye to the easy life at home. Nice to meet you. Yeah, of course I will. Molly has been assigned to work directly under company boss Gemma. I have worked for a female boss before, and female bosses are always quite strict, so I just hope she doesn't chat me. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Unfortunately for Molly, she is 30 minutes late, and it hasn't gone unnoticed. This is an amazing opportunity to work in an industry like this. I expect you to kind of, you know, turn up on time, obviously, today you're a little bit late. OK. Um, there's no room to carry people here. I demand people to work hard. I just don't accept anything else. Right, let's look at your CV. Why have you put that you've done a BA? Obviously, you can't put that it's a BA because a BA is three years. Is it? I don't know, to be fair. Yeah. Did you drop out? I did. Yeah. It wasn't for me. That is a bit of a concern. Where do you see yourself in five years? Like, what's your kind of long term? I don't have a clue. OK, interesting. Five minutes in and boss Gemma is already spooked. Don't have a clue. Molly needs to be careful. What is she playing at? The clock is ticking and Molly needs to up her game. Her first job couldn't be more simple. The morning coffee run. I don't have a clue where I'm going. I don't even know where there is a coffee shop. <laughs> she seems nice. Where is this coffee shop? Oh, I, th I think I see it. Some of the stuff on her CV is just, like, a joke. It turns out that she only did a degree for six months, but she's put a year. Oh, the hot chocolate is going everywhere. I think she just needs a bit of guidance, to be fair. Hey! And a kick up the backside. You know, welcome to the world of work. Yeah. Do you still have any hot chocolate left? <laughs> 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 it's an interesting start, to say the least. Molly's first real job of the day is to cold call new clients. So we're going to do some role play. So pretend to call me. There you go. There's your phone. Hello. Hi. I'm ringing um, in regards from Body London. Um, is, it, is there anybody I can speak to? About what? What are you... About what? To give them a model of our... You want to find out when they're going to shoot. You want to find out. Like, this is serious, you know? This yeah. is not fun and games. You need to be on it. This is how we do. That role play literally lasts, like, 20 seconds. How is that enough to, like, be phoning, like, actual companies? Right, I don't want to come across, like, basic and mediocre. With phone bashing for new clients to be done... Over to you. There's the phone. There's the thing. Molly is thrown straight in at the deep end. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Hiya, I'm called Molly and I'm calling on behalf... And everyone is taking notes on the new girl. You're no longer involved in the company. I feel like all eyes are on me at the moment. A lot of pressure. They're expecting big things. Well, would you like to take down our number just for future? Bye. Yeah. I think she needs to be able to sort of build up a bit more rapport when she's speaking to them. I hope that we can speak to you soon. You know, if she's not stepping up, she's just going to be making coffees all day. We just can't get that right. She can't so. even do that. <laughs> all right, thanks. All right. I don't really know what I need to say, but I'm just kind of guessing. She didn't really explain much, to be fair. Yeah, I was just asking, because obviously, you know, you sent me to do all these phone calls and stuff. You haven't given me any advice on, like, how to speak to them. So I just... We want... did. We had a role play. Obviously, I want to be good. I want to step up my game, so I want to know how to do that, but she didn't really tell me anything what to do. Is there a problem? Are you not, like... It's just, like, not being that supportive. Like, I don't really know what's going on. I haven't feel like I've had any advice properly. We're not here to hold your hand through things, you know? It's been now an hour and 20 minutes, and you've called two people. Do you want to just go and get lunch? That really me off. 
You know, it's her first day. I've got loads of people that want to work here, and it's like, step it up. No comment right now. I don't think she's that much of a bitch at the moment, but time will tell. Molly needs to watch out. In two days' time, her family are going to see everything. Gemma wants to keep pushing Molly, and she's got the perfect test in mind. Molly, can you come here a sec? How will Molly cope when she takes on the talent? Hi, Gemma. US model Mae needs to be styled and then delivered to two castings within the hour. You don't have much time. You need to get there, right? Yeah, we'll do. Hello. It's the perfect chance for Molly to show some initiative. It is a bit of a gamble, but it's not rocket science. She's just got to dress the girl and get her to the casting. Easier said than done when the London traffic has already put them 20 minutes behind schedule. I oh, literally going to be in and out of the store. This casting could mean huge money to both Maeve and the agency. It's all pressure and it's all on Molly. You know, this is a test, but it's easy. She'd better get her ass there and get her there. But they have ground to a halt. So do we have a backup plan? Probably not. Molly is way out of her depth here, and things are only going to get more intense. Where have you been? I don't think you know what you're doing. Molly needs to start performing, and fast. I need to speak to this girl, that's a joke. For now is the time to impress. I'm furious. Oh, my. Or Molly will be getting fired by her mum and sister. She is one of our top models. Whatever. I mean, I don't know if I need this. Nineteen-year-old Molly has never held down a job without quitting, and it's pushing her whole family to breaking point. She just has to realise that I can't support her forever. Hi, nice to meet you. For everyone's sanity, we're sending Molly to work with a tryout in her dream job in fashion. She has two days to impress her new boss, Gemma. There's no room to carry people here. I demand people to work hard. Fail to impress and secure herself a full-time job, and she will be fired by her mum and sister and everything she holds dear will be sold off to pay towards the household bills. It's difficult for Mum as well. She's not getting any extra money because of you. We've got to go out and get a job. And Molly must be careful, because soon her family will see everything she's been up to. <laughs> Bosch Gemma has sent Molly on what should be a simple task. She must dress and deliver US model Maeve to the first of her two castings today. 30 minutes behind schedule, they finally arrive at the clothes store. OK, well, I'm going to stand. You find, and I'll get ready. Yeah, do not worry. Well, I am worried, cos it's now, and I need to be I there, and we're in West London, and it's East London. Yeah. It's not really much simple here. There must be something. There's literally nothing. Oh, my God. I'm stressing out. I thought Gemma knew what she wanted, like, out of clothing and stuff and styling, but actually, obviously, if she's sending me to places like this, there's not really much going on here, is there? I really just don't think Gemma really has an idea of what she wants out of, like, clothing or fashion or anything. I would not have chosen this. I don't think you should really be blaming Gemma for this. She hadn't even told me what I was doing. I literally found out. I don't out. think you know what you're doing. <sighs> Hi, Gemma. Hi, Molly. This is crazy. You need to get her. Now. Do I bother with the clothes? Just go, like, 
just go, okay, okay, we're going now. Like, You've missed the first casting and you shouldn't bother being here. We just need to go. Oh, my <laughs> She is stressing me out. Such a prima donna. It's only day one, and already it's looking like Molly will be getting fired. She hadn't even told me what I was doing. I don't think you know what you're doing. <gasps> Molly needs to up her game, because her family will soon be watching her every move. Oh, my Lord. If the girls get a move on, they might still make it to Maeve's second appointment, an audition for a £20,000 campaign. You know, I'm really upset that I missed that, uh, that first casting. Like, really upset. Well, I can't really do much about that one. Oh, cry me a river, Holly. It's Molly. Whatever. Hi, Gemma. Yeah, I've got it. We're on our way now. Yeah, she seems all right. Yeah, she's lovely. She's really um, easy to work with. Yeah. With minutes to spare, Maeve is delivered to her second casting. Good luck. Thank you. I don't mind if she gets here, but it's no like weight off my shoulders. No, I don't really care. I've never really worked with people who are that diva-ish before. I mean, if that's the attitude of the whole industry, then maybe I've got to rethink where I want to work. Day one of her dream fashion career. And for Molly, the glitz and glam has already worn thin. So how'd it go? Mm, it was mm. OK. But anyway. I might see you again, if yeah, not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. OK, see you later, take care. Bye. Bye. If Molly doesn't want to get fired by her mum and sister, she needs to deal with whatever is thrown at her in the workplace. Well, that was fun. Including prickly characters like Maeve. Maeve, what happened? Well, basically, she said it was your fault because you sent us to that store. What? I need to speak to this girl. That's a joke. OK, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Are you kidding? So bad. I'm, like, I'm furious. Hey, I hear from Maeve that you're bitching. So, to be fair, what? at the end of the day, like, I couldn't make it in time because all the timings were awful. Like, we didn't have time, like, everything was late. And then when we did get to the shop, she wasn't even looking at half the things I was picking out for her. She should show me a bit more appreciation. It's your first day. She is one of our top models. OK, well, whatever. Did you really? Now that was probably a very bad idea. Whatever. <gasps> Molly needs to be wary, because her family will soon be watching every step she takes. Oh, my God. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, see you tomorrow. Like, how can she expect me to be good if she's not putting me in good situations? At the end of the day, tomorrow is a new day, so hopefully we'll both improve. After a chaotic day one, impressing will require a huge change in Molly tomorrow. Today is Molly's last chance to land her dream job as a model agent by impressing Gemma, her no-nonsense boss. All right, come on, dear. Should she fail to impress and be taken on, then not only will she have no job, she will be fired by her mum and sister, who will sell all she loves to pay her share of the bills. Molly needs to understand that she's got to go out there and, and do it for herself. I don't know if that's inches or not. Still, this morning, she's on beefcake duty. So it's not all bad. <laughs> right. Um... I'm trying to be nice today, so I thought I'd cheer her up and measure Jack. <laughs> Hopefully that put a smile on her face. Wasn't too difficult. <laughs> today, there's a major shoot taking place, and Molly's job will be to coordinate the movements of the various models involved. Hey, I'll Hi. see you again. Sure. I didn't realise Maeve would be here again today, so obviously seeing her was a bit of a surprise. Um, but hopefully she'll be a bit more behaved today. <laughs> Today's photo shoot needs to run like clockwork, and so Molly must ensure that all models and clothing are in the right place at the right time. Did you want one of the girls down now or all of them? Bring one of them now. OK, we'll do. Hurry up. Thanks. I want to see what she's made of, basically. And hopefully she doesn't mess up like yesterday. Out of the blue, 
Model Maid suffers a wardrobe malfunction as a shoelace unties. Gemma's really in a rush. 